Yeah, I think we'll get started given that the session is being recorded. So a very good day and a warm welcome to the Job webinar on designing engaging cell and molecular biology courses using videos. My name is Abigail D'Souza and I'm a curriculum specialist here at Job. It's truly a pleasure to have you all here. Joining me on this session are my colleagues, Dr. Tanya Garwal, the subject matter expert, as well as Preeti, Dr. Preeti Sridharan, who is also a subject matter expert. And today, we are also privileged to have with us a distinguished speaker who is not only an expert in biology, but also a shining example of one's contribution to the field of science. A very warm welcome to you, Dr. Paola Valentini. So in today's session, what will we be covering up? We are here to explore the world of Jove and its pivotal role in designing engaging cell and molecular biology courses. To do that, first we'll gain an overview of Jove, followed by Dr. Paola Valentini, who will share her invaluable experience in using Jove cell and molecular biology courses, uh, videos in her courses. After that, we have Dr. Tanya Gadwal, who will delve into the core cell and molecular biology collection. And finally, we'll also learn how to utilize these videos into popular learning management systems, such as Brightspace, Blackboard, and Moodle. And we'll wrap up with an engaging Q&A session. Uh, in the meanwhile, please feel free to post your questions, the question and answers in the Q&A uh, sec section or in the chat box. The same will be addressed towards the end of the session. So without further ado, let's dive in. So what is JOVE? JOVE stands for the Journal of Visualized Experiments. What we do is we provide video resources for education and teaching purposes. Uh, JOVE is in fact the world's first leading producer and provider of STEM videos. It's in fact the world's first video scientific journal. So it's indexed in PubMed, Web of Science, SciFinder, Scopus, and SciExpand. Over time, Jove has become a leading scientific video creator that makes teaching, engaging, and learning, practicing science more efficient. So where are we today? We have around 18,000 plus videos in our library. I'd like to say it's a growing library because we have around 1,200 videos that are published every year, 1,000 plus subscribers across the globe, uh, our videos are available 24 by 7, uh, and they're available in 14 different languages in terms of translations and voiceovers. The idea behind Job is simple. It's basically visualizing concepts through videos, and this enhances understanding compared to just reading alone. It's in fact scientifically proven as well. Having a video at hand uh, leads to a better understanding as opposed to just reading alone. And today we have with us Dr. Paula, who will share with us her practical experience in designing engaging cell and molecular biology courses using videos. Dr. Paula has been a lecturer in cell and molecular biology at University College Dublin since 2022. Prior to her current role, she worked at the Italian Institute of Technology in Genoa at Scuola Normale Superior in Pisa and at Utrecht University in Netherlands. Paula's research focuses on RNA therapeutics and host microbial interaction. What sets her apart is her use of Joe videos to facilitate student engagement, seamlessly integrating these within her Brightspace platform. Dr. Pa Dr. Paula, thank you so much for joining us on the session and the virtual stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much, Abigail, for your very kind introduction. I'm now just sharing my screen. Um, so just a second. Okay. You, can you see it? Perfect, perfect. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, so good morning, everybody. I'm Paola Valentini, and I'm very glad to share my experience in using Jove educational resources. Uh, so as Abigail uh, uh, said, I am a lecturer in cell and molecular biology at University College Dublin, uh, starting there in 2022. And previously I was working in Italy and in the Netherlands. And uh, uh, my research interests are RNA therapeutics and host microbial interaction. Um, this is the list of the main courses to which 
I contributed in, in my department at UCD. Uh, so basically, I teach topics of cell and molecular biology uh, at different level of depths from first year to third year classes and with different class sizes. Um, and how I use Jove educational resources. So mainly I embed Joven contents in, uh, uh, in the learning material for my courses. So to support the student learning uh, at home, the students <clears throat> independent studies at home, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, so my lectures are pretty traditional per se. So I explain concept with the support of PowerPoint slides. And I also put a lot of graphics in the slide because I think that molecular biology topics really benefit from the visualization of structures and processes. But also, uh, I embed Jove's content in the platform that we use at UCD, which is Brightspace, to support their independent study at home. And <clears throat> I have to say, say that I found uh, Jove's material very useful and very convenient. Uh, so first of all, from a lecturer's standpoint, uh, it is very useful um, because it's very helpful to integrate uh, uh, Jove's content in your uh, platform uh, with simple one-click uh, um, copy-paste of the link or with the embed, uh, embed button, as Abigail will show you. Uh, so it's very easy to embed it. But also, uh, the material is very well organized and easily searchable. So as you can see in the screenshot I put here, um, it is divided into uh, broad topics like biology, molecular biology, lab manual for biology, etc. And then inside you can find chapters and the material is very well organized and it's easily, uh, easy to find what you're looking for. But more importantly, from a student perspective, uh, I think the material is uh, very uh, useful because it is summarized in uh, one minute pills. Uh, where uh, a topic is uh, uh, explained with the aid of a very uh, good animation and uh, uh, a supporting uh, uh, speech, which is very clear. Uh, and uh, I think this um, one minute format really encourage uh, students to watch it because it really takes just one minute to summarize uh, complex concepts uh, such as uh, DNA replication, for instance, or protein synthesis. And I think these processes really benefit from the visualization. So for how much you can explain it in the lecture, but seeing the video, it really helps to put together all they have learned in the class. And uh, I think it really helps not only the understanding, but also the remembering of new concept and greatly support the student learning experience. Um, so also the animations are very good quality, are very clear and accurate, and the explanation, explanatory, explanatory text that uh, follows is uh, also very clear. It's very synthetic, very summarized, and it's also available in different languages, which is also important with the uh, uh, international students. So uh, now I started using these resources for all of my courses at different levels, first year, second year, third year. And uh, I really received very positive and enthusiastic feedback from the students. So I think they really benefited from this tool. Uh, so um, I want to show you here some examples. Oh, just a second, go ahead. Okay, here. Yeah. Um, of a, a Brightspace screenshot from my uh, learning materials. So here, uh, for instance, this is a first year course. Uh, I put the lecture and a separate folder with video resources because there are many for this lecture. Um, and then uh, the students find in this folder just the link direct to the video with a very simple title that is already available from Jove. So you don't have to do anything else than embed the content you're in interested in. Um, and then another example, if I can go ahead, uh, second year class, um, there is like the PDF of the lecture and then followed by the link to the videos for each lecture. Uh, so it's very easy for the student to reach this content. They don't need to subscribe. They just have it directly there to the link. Um, and uh, uh, I'm very confident on the fact that almost all the students have a look at this video and benefit from them. So my take out on message will be to really encourage my colleagues to use uh, of these uh, wonderful resources because it's really helpful from the students and it costs nothing for the lecturer. And so I think it's a really, uh, really good thing uh, to do. And yeah, I would like to thank you for your attention and I'm happy to take any question if there are any. Thank you. 
thank you so much, Dr. Paula, for sharing your experience and insights into enhancing your courses by using Joe videos. Uh, maybe uh, so if there are any questions, we we can maybe even put it in the question and answer or we can have it towards the end of the session as well. So maybe Dr. Paula, if you can stop sharing the screen. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Yes. And now we have with this uh, Dr. Tani Agarwal. Who will be who is a subject matter expert for cell and molecular biology? She will now be providing us with her valuable insights into Jove, the entire platform, followed by taking us into the realm of cell and molecular biology. Over to you, Dr. Tani. Thank you so much, Abigail, and thank you, Dr. Paula, for leading us through uh, the journey of creating, uh, designing courses using Job videos. I think uh, you have done a spectacular job, and we are very thrilled that you're using it successfully for um, uh, teaching and learning, and your students are finding it interesting and useful. So that's a very motivating compliment for all of us here. So uh, now I would like to start sharing the screen, and I would like to tell you about the different collections uh, that the students can benefit from in Jove. <clears throat> I hope my screen is visible to everybody. Yes. So firstly, I would like to give you a short overview of the entire Jove platform. So if you will see on the, like, I will also take you towards the navigation towards our website after a few minutes. But till then, please bear in mind that the entire Jove platform is somehow divided into two sections. One is the research section, which bears a separate section of video journal, which consists of peer reviewed videos on uh, research videos on several topics in different uh, subjects of research. Then there is a section on Encyclopedia of Experiments, which is a video demonstration of uh, real world techniques for different uh, subjects. Then moving on, we have a whole lot of collection under the education head where, have, where we have three different sections devoted to uh, different subjects in STEM subjects. First one being core, which are the shorter videos. And these are all animated videos, just like Dr. Paula mentioned. These are 90 seconds average length. And these are animated illustrations on the key concepts in different subjects. Next, we have the science education section, which is a slightly elaborate kind of a video collection where we have not um, not animated but real world demonstration of experiments and how these techniques can be used for lab purposes and finally we have a lab manual where we have video demonstrations suited for teaching labs where students can find instructions and protocols for conducting basic lab experiments so with that, I would like to tell you, I would like to take you towards our cell and molecular biology discussion. So the cell and molecular biology basically comprises of two sections. One is the core molecular biology per se, where we have around 20 chapters with 298 lessons. And all of these videos are available in 12 plus different languages, uh, including the voiceovers and subtitles. And this will be of particular interest to all of the international students that we have. Then, as already mentioned, these have average video length of 90 seconds. And along with that, we also have a special collection comprising of uh, scientists in action videos, which are about 100, 100 some videos in this section, which are also a demonstration of um, research videos comprising of the key concepts from molecular biology, which have been implemented there. So these are open access videos from the research section, which are available for viewing for everybody. So likewise, we also have the core cell biology collection, which is a more expansive collection and relatively new year, newer because it came in just last year. So this has more than, uh, this has around 43 chapters with 561 lessons, all available in 12 plus different languages. And again, the average length of these videos is also 90 seconds plus, and we have 120 plus scientists in action videos also in this collection. 
So as already mentioned by Dr. Paola earlier, that she has benefited by showing these videos to her first year, second year, as well as third year students. And all of them have benefited interestingly with this. So we also believe that these videos in our collection are well suited for all the first, second year biology students apart from them the pre-medical as well as health sciences students, as well as the master's and honor students will find this very interesting. And overall, all molecular biology and cellular biology research enthusiasts are going to find this a very refreshing resource to stay updated with the fundamental concepts. Now, to take you further into this collection, I'm going to take you through a tour of all of these videos under the molecular biology collection. So as already mentioned, we have 20 chapters. So these 20 chapters, for the ease of understanding here, we have subdivided into six different sections according to the themes in molecular biology. The first one being biochemistry of, molecular bi of macromolecules, which base concepts in the biochemistry as well as structures of macromolecules like DNA, RNA, and protein, as well as chromosome packing. Next, we have a section on central dogma which comprises of videos on DNA replication, repair and recombination, transcription, translation, etc. Here, I would also like to mention that you will see a small number written next to each chapter name which, uh, within parenthesis. So this indicates the number of lessons within that chapter devoted to these topics. So uh, coming back, so we have two chapters dedicated to understanding Mendelian genetics and gene evolution. And further moving on, we have a whole big collection where we have cell signaling pathways discussed under 14 different lessons. Our next section comprises of two chapters where we study, where we demonstrate uh, techniques for studying gene, uh, uh, DNA and RNA expression. Uh, so this, ba uh, this basically covers the basic molecular techniques like studying PCR or uh, SDS page and all. So those are there. And then finally, the last section under this molecular biology uh, subject, we have a section comprising of cell cycle proliferation division, and finally leading on to foundational concepts in cancer. So with this, we have a whole collection which has been comprised, compiled into a whole ready to use playlist, which I will show you in a short while where you can find all the videos enlisted in the form of a ready-to-use playlist. So moving on, likewise for uh, the way we have done it for molecular biology, similarly, we have a more expansive collection for cell biology, which has all the modern concepts along with the foundational concepts enlisted together. So the first section here, again, comprises of chapters uh, one to 11 here, basically where we have multiple videos covering essential components and functions of the cell. Next section here is devoted to understanding membrane transport and protein sorting with concepts like endocytosis, exocytosis, receptor-mediated transport, etc., being really simplified through these animated videos, which the students can really understand and benefit from. Our next section has been devoted to understanding cell energetics by having videos on mitochondrial energetics, as well as chloroplast and photosynthesis. The next section is a relatively huge collection of videos on cell signaling and cellular architecture, where cytoskeleton, as well as cell signaling pathways, many different pathways have been discussed in good length. The next section comprises of important cell biology techniques where Many techniques on cell visualization, including microscopy, etc., have been discussed and demonstrated the use of these applications, use of these techniques for understanding cell biology. The last section in this subject of cell biology comprises of cell proliferation, repair, meiosis, cell death, and cancer. Apart from this, there is a great addition here, which comprises of videos on stem cell biology and regeneration and repair, which are of particular interest to many stem cell biology enthusiasts. And they have always given us feedback that they are really uh, useful videos for foundational understanding. So likewise, we have some ready to use playlists on cell biology, which I'm going to demonstrate to you in a short while, which you can use for teaching and learning purposes. Now. 
our uh, cell and molecular biology videos are compiled under, like I told you in the beginning, under three heads, not just the core biology. We also have the science education section under which we have slightly uh, elaborate videos which discuss the practical applications of these concepts in the form of techniques and how they can be of use in the uh, learning of the real world examples. So this is available under two sections, which is basic biology as well as advanced biology. As I mentioned, these are longer videos and they also bear timestamps, which enable easy navigation within the different subsections within the video so that the students can benefit from each section. So with that, I would like to show you a small glimpse of how a ready to use playlist would look like which comprises of videos arranged in a particular order of interest. And finally, my most interesting topic of the day would be the book mappings, whereby uh, I would like to show you this in a more elaborated way when I demonstrate to you the navigation on our website. But to give you a gist of this, there are eight uh, popular textbooks for cell and molecular biology, which are used by students at the undergrad as well as master's level across the world and we have eight of these popular textbooks and if and all of these eight textbooks have been mapped by us according to the content related uh, content available in our Joe videos in the form of playlist chapter wise playlist which can be easily used by students for their self learning so with this i will stop um, so this uh, with this i will just stop sharing the screen and quickly take you to our website and give you a live demo. So just a second. Yeah. So this is how our website that is app.jove.com looks like, which my colleague Abigail earlier mentioned to you. So this is our landing page and you can see that on the top ribbon, there are several tabs available. Please make sure that you are signed in through your institutional address. Your name will be glowing here in that case. And if you're signed in, you can easily access all videos under this uh, website. So if you go to the education tab and click on the drop down menu, you can hit the first link, which is called as biology. And when you go there, it'll take you to a different screen where you can see different grabs uh, related to each section of biology videos. You can see biology, you can see code molecular biology in the second grab, and likewise, all the other grabs you can see. So as the talk to, uh, today is about molecular biology and cell biology, we'll explore the molecular biology collection first. So if I hit the second grab, and it takes us to a different page, which is on core molecular biology. So here you will find uh, the videos organized into chapter-wise playlists. Oh, sorry, chapter-wise lists of videos and depending on the relevance and your interest of the topic, you can select any one of these chapter. For example, I selected chapter five, DNA and chromosome uh, or structure. And I could click on any one of these uh, grabs here. For example, DNA as a genetic template. So it will take me to the video, the, to the corresponding video on a different screen. And here I will see the screen where I can just click on this triangle in the middle, which will start playing the video. Yeah. And so you can view this video. You can also view these videos in different languages. You can see the different available languages for this video. In the table right next to you here, you can select the language of your choice. And accordingly, the voiceover of the video as well as the subtitles will be available in that particular language. So moving on. Now, uh, I would also like to show you a similar video from the core cell biology collection. So we can just click on biology under the education tab. And quickly, this will take us to the screen where core cell biology is present. If you click anywhere here on the screen, you will find all the different chapters of cell biology. Like I mentioned to you that there are 43 chapters in this collection. You can see all 43 here. 
depending on your interest, you can click on any particular chapter that will open up a list of all the videos in that chapter, all the different lessons here. And you can select any one of the video. For example, if we were to look at, say, facilitated transport, I'll click here and the video will start playing. Solutes like charged ions are repelled by the hydrophobic layer of the membrane, thereby halting diffusion. During the process of facilitated transport or facilitated diffusion, so you can play this video, you can view the entire video. There's also a section on the right which shows the transcript where you can also read about the, uh, the you know, the uh, the speech of the video that is also written here in the form of a transcript where you can see what is discussed. So likewise, I will also like to demonstrate to you the science education section, which I was talking about earlier. So for this, we'll go back to the biology section from the education tab. And there you will see in the second horizontal row, there is a section of science education basic biology as well as science education advanced biology so for example i click on science education basic biology this takes me to a screen which has videos organized into different kind of sections so the one relevant to us here is the basic methods in cellular and molecular biology so if i click there it shows me a list of all available videos in this section and if I play this video on DNA gel electrophoresis, so we can play the video in a likewise manner by clicking on this little triangle in the center. But what is important here to see is the on your right. So you can see uh, the different subsections within this video and they have the timestamps next to them showing the, uh, showing the duration of that particular subsection. So depending on the requirement, you can replay and keep watching this video or demonstrate these videos to the students depending on their learning abilities and speeds so they can they are free to watch these so mine uh, so the most important part here is that these are not animated videos but they are an actual demonstration of the technique dna gel electrophoresis is a technique used to separate and identify dna fragments based on size DNA fragments of various sizes are loaded into a porous gel made from agarose, a carbohydrate found in red algae. When an electric field is applied, the fragments will migrate through the gel thanks to the negatively charged phosphate groups in DNA nuclei. Yeah. So uh, with that, we have all the education collection listed out for you. Now I would also like to I invite you to navigate to a different set of uh, section under this two website. So if you go to the top ribbon and click on faculty resource center, which is glowing in red over here, if I click there, I can find some ready to use playlists, which are, or, which are an organization of these videos in a particular serial order, which, you know, it is like a ready resource for you with all the relevant videos clubbed together which you can easily pick up and start watching or even integrate into your uh, learning management systems. So on this page, the first horizontal section shows you videos mapped to your course and teaching labs. So if you click on biology here, it will take you to this screen where you have a list of all the different subjects or sub uh, courses in biology, like introduction to biology, cell biology or molecular biology which are relevant. So depending on to your own interest and requirement, you can click on any one of these. So for example, I will click on molecular biology to show you how a ready to use playlist would look like. So these are comprehensive playlists which bear videos from not only the core collection, which I just showed you, but also from other sections, for example, the lab manual, which can be also used at times when you have to demonstrate concepts or protocols to your students in the teaching lab, as well as the science education section videos. On a certain occasion, you might find a research video which is of particular interest and relevance to this topic. So that may also be included at times in these kind of ready to use playlists. Now, lastly, I would like to show you the book mappings, which, was, which I was talking about earlier. 
So I'll go back to the faculty resource center page and go to the second subsection here, which shows videos mapped to your textbooks. So here I can find textbooks which have been mapped to Jove content on all different subjects. And if I click on biology here, it takes me to books on general biology as well as cell and molecular biology. Like I had earlier mentioned, we have mapped our content to eight different uh, textbooks in cell and molecular biology. So any one book which is of interest to you or which your students would like to refer to you to, you might find it here. So for example, the most um, popular book which I liked uh, studying during my um, you know, master's studies was this book by Lodish. So here on this screen, when you click on that thumbnail of the book, you will find this screen, which will give you this chapter wise list of all the videos or, you know, the entire content of this book is organized in the form of these chapters. Like this book comprises, particularly this book comprises of 25 chapters. So if I click on any one of the chapter here, it will redirect me to a different screen, which will bear this whole ready to use playlist. Now this playlist is basically a, an arrangement of videos from Jove in the serial order as per the content of this chapter in this particular textbook from the author. So this way I will have a ready resource for referring to any textbook. If I want to have my students referring to different chapters from several different books, I may just refer to these different playlists and ask them to read from these books and you know, you know prepare their lessons accordingly. So with that, thank you so much for your patient listening. And I will stop sharing my screen, but I'm happy to take any questions. And I also invite you to explore these resources and come back to us, or perhaps you are free to uh, uh, you know, contact my colleague here, uh, Abigail, who can show you how to uh, access as well as uh, integrate these uh, videos into your learning management systems for the ease of teaching and learning. Thank you so much. Over to you, Abigail. Thank you so much, Tani, for sharing and taking us and guiding us through this entire <clears throat> realm of cell and molecular biology. Okay, just give me one second. Okay, for some reason, there's a technical glitch. I can't open up my video. But anyways, let me just share my screen. Yes. Now that you have heard all about uh, the resources that have been used and the various Jove cell and molecular biology resources, how does one access this content? To do that, all you have to do is type in just jove.com on any of your browsers, be it Google Chrome, Mozilla, or even the Microsoft Edge. It will redirect you to app.jove.com. And this is the home, the landing page as shown by Tan. Uh, on the top right-hand corner, you will see sign in. All you need to do is click on sign in. Once you click on sign in, you will be redirected to this particular page. If you already have an institution or already have a Jove account, all you have to do is click on institution, enter your institution email and your password and simply sign in. If not, click on create an account. Once you click on create an account, you need to enter only your institutional email address. Kindly note, personal addresses are not allowed. You need to make sure you only enter your institutional email address and simply click on create account. And yeah, you're almost done. You wait for a verification email that will be uh, that will feature in your inbox while you wait for that. And you see an, an email coming in from Jove. And yeah, you click on that you'll be able to see this particular page. Verify your Jove account. All you have to do is click on confirm email address. Once you click on confirm email address, it will redirect you to a small form that you will have to fill in. First, wherein you have to enter your first name, your last name, a password and confirm password, which will consist of a minimum of eight characters, an uppercase, lowercase, a numerical, as well as a symbol. And make sure, uh, within institution, you enter the entire institution name. And most importantly, you select the right role. If you are a professor instructor, you select the role as a professor instructor. If you're a librarian, you select it likewise. Enter your job title and simply click on create account. 
and here you're here your account has been created how do you know that on the right hand corner you will see your name and once you see your name here you will be able to access your the job resources if your institute subscribes to it if not it will prompt you to undergo a trial now once you're in how does one share these resources with your students there are two ways to do it one is a single video embed and second is a common cartridge now what is the difference between these two single video embeds are basically inserting just one video at a time into your learning management system so you can insert it into a new page or you can simply insert it to, into an existing course page of yours so sing, that is how single video embeds typically work common cartridge on the other hand uh these basically you can integrate multiple videos into your course page like tani showcased wherein you have something known as a playlist she showcased the book mappings you can insert this entire playlist as a package into your learning management systems so you don't the common the advantage of a common cartridge is that you don't manually insert one video at a time you can create your own playlist or you can use it from our ready to use playlist and simply insert the entire package in one go this saves a lot of time as well so what i will be doing i will be showcasing embedding which means inserting into three management systems one is brightspace second blackboard and the third is moodle let me just share my screen yes so while we are on the call and if you would one would like to even try it out you can simply uh, try out the embedding along with me as well so first make sure you create an account and you're logged in in the steps that i've showcased once you are there on the home page you can simply go to the education drop down within education you can show go to the biology collection like tani showcased the two collections let me just take core cell biology as an example so the typic the the first step to embedding is same for all videos on the job platform whether you're looking at core whether you're looking at science education or whether you're looking at the lab manual you simply have to go to a video of your choice for example let me just go to this maybe go to overview of metabolism i simply click on it yes so all you have to do is click on embed video and yes here this is what i was talking about uh you have you can adjust the width and height of the video as per your requirement but you also have the copy embed code so you do not click on the copy url but what you do is you click on copy embed code and once you click on copy embed code it means that this particular code is being copied then i'll showcase first in brightspace and then blackboard and then to moodle for brightspace you go into your course page you simply click on create new click on html document and here is where you can simply enter the title of the video maybe or i'll just uh, keep it as cells for now and here within the page content you will see this particular source code these arrows that you see you click on source code select the entire text here and simply do control v or right click and paste which means you are basically copying the code from the job platform into your learning management system and you simply click on save and this is how seamlessly by the click of a button your students can simply watch the videos similarly in the case of blackboard once you are on your blackboard course page uh, you simply go to build content you click on item you enter the title of the video cells and here within this page content do you see this the two arrows over here again signifying or showcasing as source code you simply click on that and right click and place or do control plus v and you have your video so again it's very simple to even insert into a blackboard and similarly in the case of moodle you go to your moodle course page
click on page enter your name the name of the title of the video over here under page content here do you see show hide and advance buttons so you can keep description as is but you need to insert this code under your page content here click on show hide advance buttons click on this html select the entire text and do control v and simply save and display so this is how seamlessly you can insert the entire insert single videos either in your in, into your existing course page or into a new page uh, as tani mentioned here on the joe platform itself if you go down to your faculty resource center you can use an existing playlist either from the textbooks so let me just go to biology and you can insert an entire chapter so you don't have to manually insert one video at a, at a time so let me just take molecular cell biology the lodish I go to a chapter and this is what the playlist looks like, right? On the left-hand side, you see something known as download CC. CC stands for common cartridge. So it's basically an entire package which comprises of all these videos and you can insert all of them in one go. So I already have a package that is downloaded on RNA uh, replication. So I will just insert that existing package. So all you have to do is download CC the package gets downloaded and you simply have to go to your course page. So make sure even while for some reason, if you do not see the download CC button, it would mean that you are not logged in. So at all times, make sure that you are signed into the Joe platform. You simply go to Brightspace. Oh, let me start off with yeah. save and close. I will simply insert the... Uh, entire package into this particular course page. So to do that, on the top right hand corner, do you see admin tools or like a settings uh, module? Like a, yeah, and you click on import components. So you simply click on import components. Do not touch anything here. As far as export is concerned, you click on import from a course package and start. So from the download collection, you just upload this one that we just downloaded. Simply click on import all contents. While this is getting uploaded and importing, let me also go through Blackboard. So in Blackboard, it's similar, but what you have to do is on the left-hand panel, you will see import package under packages and utilities here at the extreme bottom, you will see packages and utilities under that you click on import package new logs you click on import package browse through local files from your download open and here you click on select all under co select course materials you click on select all and simply click on sub and while this is also getting uploaded, let me quickly showcase Moodle. Within Moodle, you go to a topic of your choice. Again, instead of you click on add an activity or resource. And instead of a page, now what you select is IMS content package. So you just simply click on IMS content package. Give it a name. I'll just give it cells. Choose the file from your downloads. and upload this file, save and display. So this is how seamlessly you can em embed or integrate an entire package in one go. So you have all the videos that were listed uh, in the package that showcases over here. So you have the video and you also have the text that comes along with the video that can be uploaded in one go. So this is Moodle for, Bright for Blackboard. The entire package, you just have to refresh this page and the entire package, you will be able to see the name of the package on the left-hand panel. Here. Evolution, molecules, genes, and cell organ. Here. So you have all the videos listed as different pages. You can also navigate and move the page as and where you would like it to be placed. But yeah, all the videos are uploaded. So yeah, I can just close these.
So all of them, you can also move them as in where you would like them to be. Similarly, in case of uh, Brightspace, okay, let me just cancel this and showcase what is already uploaded. Yes, content. So how it basically looks like once it's uploaded, it will feature at the top bottom, uh, right at the end of the page. You simply have to click on it and yeah. DNA cycle. So you have various pages that are uploaded, which can also be edited. So this is how seamlessly one can insert uh, videos uh, into various learning management systems in one go. So yes, uh, likewise, uh, one can also Jove videos come with quizzes and which can also be inserted into your learning management systems. Uh, to do that, maybe in the interest of time, I will not go through that right now. But what you can do is you can request a curated playlist also, which would mean you can simply share your syllabus with me. And we have a team of subject matter experts who can actually uh, align relevant job videos with your syllabuses. So making it easier for you, you do not have to search through the platform. Everything will be shared uh, and will be curated and shared with you. Uh, in addition, you can also book a one-on-one -on -one demo with me uh, to uh, understand how to navigate through the platform, look through relevant resources, and also insert these videos along with the relevant quizzes into your course pages. So yes, uh, my details are here, my name, my phone number, as well as my email address. I will be sharing that in the chat box as well. But if you would like to get in touch with me to understand more, uh, please feel free to get back to us. And yes, we are open for any questions. Okay, we have one question for uh, Dr. Paula. Uh, Dr. Paula, how long have you been utilizing Job videos? And how has it enhanced your courses? Were there any feedback, good feedback from students or things like that? Hey, thank you for the question. So I've been using uh, Jovis video for about one year now, and I'm planning to continue to use it. Um, and we have a system for student feedback at the end of the course, uh, like a feature. And I could notice that uh, uh, really students could appreciate uh, the learning material. Uh, so I think uh, they really benefit from this addition. Uh, and uh, yeah, um, I thank Joga for that because I think it's a really, really useful resources uh, they created. Thank you. Thank you, Paula. Uh, I think I have one more question is whether these videos, whether students have to create a Joga account uh, after having, uh, after the videos are embedded. Okay, no, absolutely not, because they just can access the video directly from uh, the platform like Brightspace, and they don't have to log in into Jove. They already have it available there. Perfect. All right. I don't think we have any questions, but yes, please let me just uh, share the contact details and can please feel free to get back to us at any time. So I'm just sharing in my email address in the chat box. Yes. So yes, uh, firstly, uh, yeah, I'd like to thank, uh, given that we are probably towards the end of the session and two minutes left, uh, I'd like to thank Dr. Paula for sharing her exp expertise and providing a real-world perspective on the impact that Jove has had in her classroom. Uh, Dr. Paula, your insights have been incredibly valuable to us. Thank you so much for sharing them with us. And thank of course, you very much. Yeah. welcome. And thank you to our attentive audience for investing your time and being with us today. Uh, your engagement is what makes the discussion uh, uh, more enriching. And I hope that everyone here will be using, utilizing Joe videos in their courses. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Tani. Thank you, Dr. Preeti, for also joining this call.
have a nice day bye bye take care